As your body moves into the afternoon, your rhythms are changing again to prepare you for the latter part of the day. These changing rhythms are controlled by the central body clock, which is found deep inside your brain. No bigger than a grain of rice, the central body clock is a bundle of cells controlled by a unique set of body clock genes. Over the course of 24 hours, these clockwork genes regularly switch themselves on and off, thereby keeping time and telling the rest of the body what to do. I suppose the analogy would be rather like the conductor of an orchestra, producing a regular temporal beat from which the component parts of the orchestra take their cue. And, and as a result, you have a symphony rather than a cacophony. This is what the clock in action actually looks like. Michael Hastings from the Medical Research Council has captured these images by photographing brain tissue as a ticking body clock gene switch on and off over a 10-day period. As the clockwork goes through its paces, so the image goes down, comes back up again, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. When I first saw images like this, it completely blew me away because for the first time we're able to look inside this secret world of the clockwork. That is far more accurate in timekeeping than just about any other form of biochemistry. It really is a profoundly exquisite mechanism. And recent breakthroughs have shown that the master clock in our brains is not alone. There are body clocks present in just about every part of our body, in the heart, in the lung, in the liver, in the kidneys. You name it, it likely has its own clockwork ticking away inside it. Understanding the different clockwork of different organs in our bodies has enabled scientists to revolutionize the treatment of disease. Individual organs can now be treated according to their own time schedule, and this could hold the key to the successful treatment of a disease so prevalent in the modern world that one in three of us will develop a form of it at some point in our lives. Sixty-four-year-old grandmother of 13, Christiane Thievon, was diagnosed with colon cancer in 2004. My whole world, my family, my sister, my mother, in fact all my close family circle were also destabilized. It was terrible, terrible, terrible. Until recently, Christiane received traditional chemotherapy to treat her cancer. The aim of chemotherapy is to kill cancerous tumors by using toxic drugs. The problem is that these drugs also kill healthy cells, and this can leave patients feeling extremely unwell. My first chemo sessions affected me, both physically and psychologically. I went through both. Physically because I felt, how can I put it, I felt nauseous frequently. I was, how shall I put it, as if I'd been mutilated somehow, because I no longer had, honestly, any wishes, any needs. The limited doses of chemotherapy drugs that Christiane was able to tolerate were not sufficient to shrink her tumours, and her cancer spread to her liver. With traditional chemotherapy no longer an option, Christiane has come to the Paul Bruce Hospital outside Paris for an experimental new treatment which is attempting to use the natural rhythms of the body clock to fight the disease. The same toxic chemotherapy drugs are given to Christiane, but they are carefully scheduled for times of the day when her healthy cells are least active, so fewer of them are damaged by the drugs. For me, it's completely... it's different. It's different. I'm feeling well so far. I'm not, I'm not agitated, not stressed, not worried. Instead of spending up to five days in hospital, Christiane is fitted with a special portable pump that will dispense her drugs daily at four o'clock in the afternoon and four o'clock in the morning. Preliminary blood results following Christiane's first time treatment are encouraging. There is already an improvement in, uh, in her liver function tests. 
in the markers, tumor markers, and also uh, the pain that she was uh, feeling has completely disappeared after the first treatment. According to Christiane's doctor, Francis Levy, the benefits of administering drugs at specific times of day are manifold. In a recent study, he found that not only did the timing of medication damage five times fewer healthy cells, but it was also twice as effective at killing the cancerous cells. These early results have given fresh hope to Christiane and could lead to helping many other patients for whom no other treatment was suitable. I will anticipate having a normal day. I'll do a bit of housework, a bit of cooking, maybe seeing my grandchildren, some of my grandchildren, living in the best way I can. Understanding how the body clock influences disease means that we can develop smarter, more effective medicines and medical treatments which actually exploit the body clock as a way into if you like, the Achilles heel of various disease processes.